Hey guys, welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud and I'm your host Harsh Agrawal. Well, this video is about WordPress plugin and if you are using WordPress and if you have a LinkedIn profile, you are going to love this. So, you know, one of the things that uh, one should do after publishing a blog post is that you should share it on your social media platform because this post uh, is something that you have written. It's an, it's an idea that you have shared with the world and now you should also share it on your social media platform so that your people who are connected to you on your social media network your followers who follow you on your social media network also get to know about this new update and can read about it so i was browsing a wordpress directory and i found this really nice plugin i tested this on one of my website and now i'm installing it on shout me loud and i thought i will share the whole thing with you so that you can also start using this plugin so the, uh, the plugin, you can quickly search for LinkedIn and there are two plugins which says W2 LinkedIn auto published and W LinkedIn auto published. There's hardly any difference. Uh, this one, the one by Martin Gibson is certainly the better than the other one, has better UI, easy to use. And what it does is you can start sharing posts from the WordPress dashboard. Either when you're writing a blog post and when you're about to hit publish, you can actually uh, this plugin will automatically publish new blog post on LinkedIn as an update and you can also publish your old blog post on LinkedIn using this plugin so this is an amazing plugin and let's go ahead and understand how this plugin works all right so log into your dashboard click on clicking click on plugins add new search for LinkedIn plugin and you need to install this plugin by Martin Gibson. Uh, it's called WP LinkedIn Auto Publish. So click on install now. Click on activate. Once it's done, now it's time to configure the plugin. So let's go to the plugin settings. Yeah, here we here is it. So click on this. Now the very first thing you need to do is uh, connect your LinkedIn profile uh, with this plugin. So simply click on connect with LinkedIn, allow access to your LinkedIn file. All right. The connection to your LinkedIn account has been successful. You will need to select what profile companies you want to share with. Will you, we will take you there in zero seconds and here we are. So here's my profile. Let's click on save all settings. Now click on sharing option. So here, uh, sharing option is where you can, you have two options, simple or advanced. Uh, you can decide how do you want to share. What I want to do is like whenever I share a blog post, it should be shared. The first post title and post link is shared. If you want, you can also add post content or post excerpt. Uh, well, I like the idea of post content. So let me customize it according to my need. All right. so. Here we go. All right. So this is how the post will be shared. And I'll show you the example so that uh, you don't have to worry about that. Select the profile on which you want to share. You can, so, you know, when you connect with LinkedIn, you it will pull up all your groups, profile, uh, company pages. So it just makes it easier for you to start sharing your content on the profile that you want. And so, if you want to unselect any category, you can do that from here. Share the following post, page, download, deals. And so I, I have like few custom post type and I, you know, I want to automatically share all of them. And you can actually exclude if you don't want auto publish to be enabled for a specific post which you're writing. I will show you that part as well. So just hold on for a second. Now there's an option called additional option. So if you want, by default, uh, you can disable sharing on LinkedIn. I will actually select that because I have multiple author and I don't want to, you know, to confuse others with new settings. So let's disable this. That's how, like, you know, you just need to uh, configure connect, then the profile selection, then sharing option, like how do you want the post to be shared? Then click on additional option and you can hide post column. Uh, so post column is this. So let me just show you there, like, all right, so you see this option over here, shared on LinkedIn, not shared, share now. So this is the option which 
is configured using height post column so by default it's enabled if you don't want to see this particular thing here you can actually just check this click on save all settings but i kind of like this feature so i'll keep it just like that and yes pretty much that's it so now here we are so there are two ways you can share the blog post uh, let me show you so one way is simply here you can actually click on share now and it will automatically share you know it's just with one single click it shares the blog post on your linkedin profile it's the default profile that you have selected from the settings the second option which is very useful when you're writing a new blog post and you're about to publish so here is how it is here are two options like you know if you're editing your old blog post you can also share it from here if you're publishing a new blog post you can also you know configure this to publish from here in case if you don't want to share the post you can just simply select this option and the post will not be shared well that's it uh, let me just actually share a blog post from here so it will give you an idea like how the post looks like so the post is successfully shared now there are two cool things about this just let me refresh this page and you'll be able to see the link of the shared post here now there's some problem with the plugin or somewhere like maybe some setting somewhere as you can see here the year it shows is 1970 i was not even born there then and i think what uh, yeah wordpress was not also born then so it must be uh, some error in the plugin settings so you know what to do simply ignore or wait for plugin developer to release an update and well that's how the post looks like so you know i remember i've added the content part here uh, in the in the sharing option i've added the post content part and i've actually added a space so that there will be a space here uh, i can further customize it so yeah i think this will be much better okay save all settings and you can see this is how the post looks like now anyone can click and go to read the blog post well that's that's what this plugin does it's pretty awesome and you know just like you need to plug plug and play connect your linkedin profile and once you have set up after that you will enjoy the benefit of this plugin another reminder like you know there are two similar plugins like this one is one has actually many installation but i don't like this plugin ui in fact the the way you connect with linkedin is pretty tricky i still have to do a detailed uh, you know differentiator between these two plugin but this is the plugin that i'm talking about wp linkedin auto publish by martin gibson uh 24 reviews right now do do let me know like how many reviews do you see when you start use when you see this video and when you start using this plugin uh, i'm also looking for a plugin which actually let me publish my existing blog post as a native post on linkedin so on linkedin they have a blogging platform as well where you can publish a blog post I have not found anything they don't have any import feature as well so it's really painful to import existing you know copy paste existing blog post from WordPress to LinkedIn hopefully I'll find a solution in in the near future in case if you know of any solution for that do let me know in the comment section below do let me know how you like this video if you found this interesting do give me a like and share this uh, video with your friends let them know about this cool plugin I will see you in the next video bye bye this is Harsh